This is the second half of how to create and work with workflows. At the end of last video, I showed you how to start a workflow for this particular document, and now it, the status says is, um, it is in progress. The request and approval, that's the name of the uh, workflow, and that's the status. If you want to see the details, go ahead and click on the downward triangle, and then um, click on workflows so um, it says request an approval is started it it's in progress I'm gonna go back and now um, quickly I'll show you how the the, uh, the person who is approving will get the notification here is an email and once the approval opens the email you can uh, he or she can click on edit the status uh, edit the task so task means basically um, here the task is created once the workflow started it and it'll come to this window and that's the title um, and it is not started yet so um, go ahead and click on the downward triangle and edit item so basically you will come the approval will come to this window and then you can uh, the person can review it and then go ahead and click on the approve button and it's processing and now it is completed so let me go back to the library. The status is now approved. So once the content of this document has been approved, the next step would be uh, gathering signature. So we already created the workflow for it. So again, trying downward triangle, and then go to workflows and here's the one that we already created earlier so gather signatures and it's going to be uh, collecting a signature from Mo Yun, that's me and go ahead and click on start essentially the the person who uh, put the signature uh, we'll get the basically similar email. Here's the one. Let me go ahead and close this and that's the email and I can click on the uh, Edit this task. So this is a brand new task Unfortunately right now. It's not working um, It gets the error message Basically not an error message is basically you have to add the SharePoint list uh, URL to the safe site list and that's uh, that's a little bit complicated at this point but I'm sure it will be uh, sorted out really easily uh, pretty soon so anyway uh, once that is clicked and then it will essentially come to the tasks list and then this is the list I'm um, the task and then um, let me edit it so again once the signature reviews the content and then click on sign it will put the signature to that uh, document so let me go back to the contact contracts uh, library and now it is uh, go back here approved let's see approved and let's see can I move get a signature is complete so that's it and it is all done and then you may create another workflow to send it to uh, the next next person who will take over the contract uh, okay that's basically it